it's the same thing for everything. There's different types of food, different types of condos, different types of cars. There are different types of beer. The craft brewers, the real brewers, they're brewing beer with passion, heart, and soul. They brewed this beer because someone said, that's really cool. I want to put these flavors in a beer because I think it would be delicious. And that's what real beer is all about. It's about creating a product that is unique, that has distinct flavors, and, and really makes you dream. Craft beer can do that to people. It's done it to me, and I am totally hooked on it now. There's really nothing that can compare it to the range of flavors that you can get in real, delicious beer. Ah, the Innocent Gun Original Oak Age Beer. This was really the beer that got me hooked on real beer. I mean, the first time I tried this beer, it opened my mind to a spectrum of flavor I just had no idea existed. And from then on, well, it was a snowball effect. The Innocent Gun is truly a remarkable beer. Innocent Gun is brewed in Scotland, but what they do is they ship American white oak barrels from Kentucky County over to Scotland, age the beer in these barrels. The barrels impart this smooth, rich, caramel and vanilla, slight touch of oak whiskey flavor into the beer, and it comes out with this beautiful, gorgeous, amber-brown shade. It is truly a remarkable beer. You get everything from vanilla, to hints of toffee, to caramel, but it's smooth and crisp, and just perfectly satisfying. I put this in ribs, I drink it with ribs, I've made it in barbecue sauces, in stews, I've even put it in cakes. This is a remarkable beer that time and time again convinces me why I love real beer. Once a year, on the first weekend in April, thousands and thousands of people gather in Munster, Indiana to buy this beer, The Dark Lord by the Three Floyds. This is their Russian Imperial Stout, and it's aged for a period of time in oak barrels. It comes out at 13 or 14 percent. It's a different beer every year, and literally, it's got a cult culture now. People from all across the United States, Canada, and even the world now have come to what's become Dark Lord Day. It's a one-day festival where every single bottle of Dark Lord sells out. They only brew a couple thousand of them, People have to buy individual tickets to be able to buy the beer, and they're all gone instantly after one day. Every year they put a different color wax on here, just to distinguish what it is. This year it's green, and this beer was remarkable. It's one of the biggest beers I've ever tasted, and literally people across the entire world are searching for it. Have you ever heard of a hot beer? I'm holding one right now. The Unibrew Kelka Shows. Half of it is a Belgium dark ale, the other half is brewed with dried cherries. And it's literally designed to be served hot, piping hot like tea. You get this beer in a mug, steam is rushing off of it, and big rich flavors of vanilla and cherry and brown dark ale are perfuming into your nose. The flavor of the beer is really remarkable. The first time a hot beer was ever handed to me, I, I didn't know what to think of it. This was really a remarkable beer. I've had nothing like it. It's one of only two beers in the world that are actually designed to be served hot. And it's astonishing. I'm very thankful that Unibrew continues to brew this beer. And if you look carefully on the back, it has a best before date of December the 31st, 2025. There's really flavors of beer for everyone. I mean, who doesn't love creme brulee? This is the creme brulee stove by Southern Tier. This thing smells and tastes like creme brulee. It's astonishing. What about bacon? This beer tastes exactly like smoked sausage. It's unbelievable. I love this beer. Or peaches, hot summer day. What's more refreshing than a cool peach? This beer is liquid glory. Unbelievable stuff.